So a cure for blindness. Um, if you are visually impaired or blind, uh, you can know this is, in my opinion, one of the worst, um, one of the worst disabilities that you can come across or experience. So I'm legally blind, um, and uh, so I follow a lot of technologies and stuff that are coming out in the future because I believe that uh, blind people will be able to get their vision back. And I think we live at a time that some amazing technologies are uh, in R&D right now. And, uh, I believe will be coming out soon. Um, so if you are um, visually impaired, legally blind, blind, um, I got, then there's hope for you. And I just want to go over, just we're going to touch on just two, I think, people who are leading in the um, in the space of actually being able to bring vision back for uh, blind people and uh, who you should follow and check out. So first, uh, check out David Sinclair. Um, they have already, in animals, mouse, they have been able to basically... Um, cut blood supply off to the optical nerve where it dies and after it's dead be able to regenerate it or bring it back or regrow a new nerve or if you want to call that but they were able to reconstitute that nerve and it brought the vision back in that animal uh, that has been done in animals and now they're going to be moving over to primate studies so that's one to watch David Sinclair from Harvard um, again some of that's been done in animals already and we'll see if it transfers over um, to primate studies as far as uh, that and then over to human studies uh, next guy I'm going to say Elon Musk so Elon Musk and Neuralink um, of course this is starting off as you know for disabilities and other things um, if you have problems with walk and spinal cord but it will be um, I believe it will be uh, suitable for bringing back vision in blind people um, he has just scouting. I think they just got FDA approval for human testing to insert the uh, the neural chip, uh, which sets on the brain. So, in my opinion, what it would be able to happen, which you would be able to um, say your optical nerve is severed, so you could put one of his chips basically behind a bionic eye, and it would capture all the information, images, translate that into what's needed for the human optical nerve. So I have a secondary chip which hooks into the optical nerve or in the back of, I think it's V1, into the back of the brain, sits right there and transmits that, that data from the bionic eye or from your eye past the optical nerve is severed or damaged and then transmits that data even to the good part of the optical nerve when you bypass the bad part or directly into V1. Um, I think that's what Neuralink is going to be um, allow us to do. So that's another one to follow. So those are the two um, that I want you to follow. Um, if you are blind, visually impaired, and you thought this information, if you found it interesting, anything, please hit that like button so it's pushed out. Uh, if this seems to respond with some people, we'll do more. I'll do more videos about this and technology that are coming out for blind people that may help us in the future. So please, please, please hit that like button. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.